Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here coming at you with 2021 Topps Tribute Baseball. Brand new release just dropped yesterday, six box. Pick your team number one. Now, pick your team two filled before number one, by the way. So this is, in case you're wondering what went on there. Here's the uh, six box case of tribute. Big thanks to everyone here for getting in on the action. And pick your team number one, appreciate it. Now there were a number of RNB spots, that means random number block, for uh, two different ones right here. So the first one, here it is. This is the Angels, Yankees, Rays, Phillies, Orioles, Dodgers, White Sox, A's number block group. So it works just like a serial number break, but just for those teams and only for pick your team number one. Same, same situation here with a different group of teams. Cardinals, Blue Jays, Tigers, Reds, Brewers, Royals, Marlins, and Diamondbacks. It works like a serial number break, get a group of numbers, and it only applies to pick your team number one. Now there are um, there are non-numbered cards, so whatever no, we'll do a couple randomizers at the end to see who wins those non-numbered cards, if any. So winner take all on the uh, non-numbered base cards. All right, where's my knife? There it is. Full of hits here. Too much. All right, there we go. I got three and three to make six. This is my first look at tribute. Good luck. Mistaken. There should be a card on the bottom, a base card on the bottom, and then the autograph is right here. Here are the base cards. And you can see all the cards on the top camera as well. They're not going anywhere. All right. So, looks pretty sharp this year. I do like the tribute. Really nice stuff. So, obviously, these are not numbered. So, if they're part of a not the not numbered group, again, we'll randomize the each individual RNB group. And then we'll see uh, we'll see who gets that group of non-numbered cards. Here's Kettle Marte, three out of ten. Nice low number here for the Diamondback. Went down with a hamstring injury. Hopefully he'll be back soon. And without too much too much damage. My fantasy team needs him. All right, there's Mike Schmidt, and behind him is gonna be Austin Meadows. 114 out of 199. Rays autograph. And that was Mark picked up the Rays straight up. So I'll go out to you. Behind Jacob deGrom is going to be JT Real Muto, Triple Relic, 29 out of 99. Now remember, folks, there is a worldwide top loader shortage. So we're, we've been having to put cards into uh, much larger, larger top loaders. We'll put the blue painter's tape right here to make sure it doesn't rattle around too much, but if you're taking it off or something like that, just be careful that they don't slide out. All right, behind you, Darvish, is going to be Yadi. 22 out of 150, dual relic. 
That'll be for the Cardinals. The Cardinals are a number block team, so that'll go to Cardinals 2. So St. Louis 2 will be for Mark. Mark with that one. We got Andrew Jones, autograph. Nice, 88 out of 99 for the Braves. Braves 8 is going to be for Monty. There you go, he's got some great penmanship there. Behind Whit Merrifield is a Nick Madrigal and a Luis Patino. 007, do 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 out of 150. That'll be for the Friars. Chris Parent bought the Padres straight up. And once again, 007 out of 150. Nick Madrigal, very solid hitter for the White Sox. That'll be part of the uh, that'll be part of the non-numbered group. Remember when Andrew Jones was the worst Dodger ever? I do, Oliver. Andrew Jones was a uh, he was fat Andrew Jones. He came to camp overweight. Got a nice payday. Kind of dogged it a little bit. You know, and uh, yeah, that's that. And then he went to the Yankees, I want to say. And then actually had a couple decent seasons with them. And then that made me even more mad. And I was like, come on, where was that? I always felt like I always felt like he, how, how many years did he end up playing? Was he really young when he first came up, Teddy Singh? Is he a Hall of Famer? I feel like if, if he was in shape, he could have extended his career a little bit longer and maybe possibly gotten some Hall of Fame attention. Oh my god, I forgot about that other pack all the way over here. Remember that El Altuve? Right up here, forgot about him. That was, this is from the first box. Behind Altuve is Freddie Freeman, speaking of the Braves. All right, a stamp of approval relic, 81 out of 99. So that's Braves 1. That'll be, that'll be for Oliver Smith. So now these... These hologram stickers are really cool because you could look up the letters and numbers on MLB, MLB.com slash authentication. And you can see exactly what date that game was from. This is JC758181. Then you can see what date this jersey was from. And then you can see, um, I guess you could look up the box score and see how he did that day. Nolan Ryan, 85 out of 99. That'll be for the Rangers. That'll be for Patrick Davis. We got Josh right there. And Blake Snell on the back. Autograph to 199. That'll be for the Rays. Mark N. Picked up the Rays straight up. And there's Yachty right here. Andre, Andrew Jones has 434 career home runs. That's not Hall of Fame? I don't know. 250 batting average, less than 2,000 hits. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like if he, if he hit a milestone home run number, maybe if he had like 500, maybe that milestone number. He played 17 seasons, but I feel like the last handful... The last five or six seasons, he really tailed off. So I think, yeah, I think that brings him just a little short. There's Jorge Soler. There's two hits in this pack. Jorge Soler, 135 out of 150. For the Royals, that'll be Royals. It'll be Royals 5. Right here to 150. Kansas City 5. 
is Monty, Kansas City 5. And then we got a dual relic for the Brave, 56 out of 99. Greg Maddox and John Smoltz. Andrew Jones was part of those part of those teams. So that's Braves number block six. Atlanta six is for Jeff, Jeff Dorlack. There's Maris. Behind him will be Sixto Sanchez, 100 out of 199 for the fish. So Marlin zero is gonna be Patrick Davis. There you go, Patrick. Max Scherzer, and Michael Conforto, triple relic, 21 out of 25. Mets won. No, Mets picked up straight up by Robert Z. There you go, Robert. And you got Eddie Rosario, 40 out of 150. Stamp of approval. Again, piece of his jersey there that you can look up the letters and numbers on MLB.com slash authentication. I think it's a very cool feature. Hopefully more and more cards and across all products will have more of this. JB299390. Strasburg, and here is another Sixto Sanchez, this time for number two. Two out of 25. And that'll be for Marlins two. Mark, Mark L, with Marlins 2. Uh, maybe, yeah, Andrew Jones is gonna fall short. Just looking at his stats, if he maybe had like 2,000 hits, 500 home runs, Maybe if his average, his career average was maybe 300 instead of 254. With all those gold gloves, I think that might have gotten him in and just his amazingness on defense. Maybe if he won like an MVP or two. Closest he got was second place in 2005 when he was 28 years old. That's his 51 home run season. But man, he was he was pretty amazing for for a good while. It's not for the Dodgers. I think he came into camp out of shape, and he got injured in, during the season. I think he only ended up looking at the stats right now. Only ended up playing seventy five games with the Dodgers. Hit 158, three home runs, and 14 RBIs in all that time. I think he was traded to the Rangers the following year. Played 85 games, 82 games for them. Went to the White Sox for a year. And the Yankees for the last couple years of his career. And that, and that was that. Hmm. Yeah, Oliver says Andrew Jones's career kind of reminds him a little of a uh, old Dodgers right fielder Raul Mondesi. He had a cannon of an arm in right field. Run won a Rookie of the Year when the Dodgers had that string of Rookie of the Years in the '90s. There's Brooks Robinson for the Orioles. Orioles seven will be Derek Derek and Lanson. And then he kind of tailed off, too. Everyone thought, oh, he's going he's gonna to be awesome. There's Jake Cronenworth. And Ramon Laureano autographed to 150. Reminds Matthew of Buxton, Byron Buxton? Well, his career's not over yet. I can't, his career is still yet to be ridden. Unless you're saying Buxton is going to end up like those guys. We've got, that's pretty nice, Miguel Cabrera, Jersey and Auto. Wow. 
Green Monster Wall Graphs is what the set is. Two out of ten. So it's got the hologram sticker, VS860114, and an on-card autograph. Detroit, did someone pick up the Tigers straight up? No. Tigers are a number block team, part of that St. Louis group. So it's Tigers 2. Mark L with Tigers 2. That's very nice. Miguel, Miguel Cabrera. What a career he's had. He's very close to hitting some great milestone numbers. He's at 488 career home runs. He should be able to hit 500, I think, by the end of the season. If he's healthy. There's Robin Yount, Triple Relic. 112 out of 150 for the Brewers. That's another number block team. It's part of the St. Louis group. Brewers 2 is for Mark, Mark L. We got J.D. Martinez and Cabrian Hayes. Nice rookie auto, 49 out of 199 for the Buckos. Josh Melton with the Pirates. Nice pickup, Josh. I think he's banged up a little bit on the IL, but should be back soon and hopefully he keeps crushing again. I think game two, he hit a home run game one. Game two, I think banged up his wrist or something like that. Hopefully nothing too serious. Here is Tim Anderson. And look at that. That looks like a ferocious bat flip right there. 32 out of 50. White Sox are a part of the Angels number block group. The Angels, Yankees, Braves number block group. And that's going to be for number two. And that'll be for Joel. There you go, Joel. And that, again, MLB.com slash authentication. JC735962. Look that up. See if he actually had a home run that day. We got a dual uh, dual relic right here. Yvonne Rodriguez and Miguel Cabrera, 20 out of 150. Tigers, zero. It's going to be for Patrick Davis. I kind of forgot that Pudge was a Tiger. I actually have no recollection of Pudge being a Tiger, to be honest with you. All right. Halfway through this break, another three boxes to go. Yeah, M Miggy with a hot first homer of the year in the snow. I think that's going to always be a memorable moment. Him sliding into second base thinking it was a, thinking it was a double because of the snow. Now, he should get 500 home runs this year. Well, I don't know. Maybe. He's got. He needs 12 home runs to hit five to hit 500. He hit 10 last year, in a shortened season, and 12 the year before, playing 136 games. He's got to be able to get 500 this year. <laughs> well, not just eight. All the other numbers too, except for the zeros and twos. Now, and he should, where, where is he at on hits? He's had 2,869 hits. Is he going to get hits this year? That's 131 hits. That might be a little more difficult. Although the last full season he had, he did have 139 hits. What do you think? Does he get both this year? Teddy, what do you think? He's, he, Teddy thinks he's going to fall short in the hits. That's that's where I think too. But it'd be a pretty cool story if he gets 500 and 3,000 this year. That'd be a nice. I mean, at that point, I'd just hang it up. I'd be like, there you go. I'm done. I've got a over 300 lifetime batting average. I got 500. I got 3,000 hits. Yeah, triple crown it just to end end his career. He did have one triple crown, yes. And two MVPs in a row. And then at least like one, two, three, four, four top fives. One, two World Series appearances. 
think one win with the Marlins, I think. There's Austin Meadows to 50 for the Rays. Goes to Mark N. Any guesses on this redemption? Trevor Story for bragging rights. Max Muncy, the funky Muncy, 119 to 150. Going to my Dodgers. Dodgers are a number block team. It's part of the Angels group. Dodgers 9 is going to be for for Kevin Hull. There you go, Kevin. George Brett reveals a Wilson Contreras, 150 out of 150. Rex saying that Arietta got his first win and his first win back as a Cub. He never should have left. Rex calling uh, Luis Robert on that redemption. Cubbies picked up by Charles. Last spot mojo. Yeah, I think Miggy still has a couple seasons left in him, especially if he doesn't get the hits this year. There's Austin Meadows. Nine out of 99. And that'll be for Mark N. and the Rays. Another uh, nice hologram sticker in there. JC744892, if you want to look that up. Machado. And Todd Helton, triple relic. 17 out of 99. We got a Luis Robert guess on that redemption. Rex is guessing Luis Robert. Ed is guessing Alec Baum. Oliver is guessing Bo Bichette. Tyler guessing Joe Adele. This goes to the Rocks. That'll be for Brennan with the Rockies. Brooks Robinson base reveals a Ryan Mountcastle, I think, had a big home run yesterday. 40 out of 50. That goes to Baltimore 0. Orioles 0 will be for Patrick Davis. No, check that. Jonathan. That one's the other number block. And the last one here, or second to last one here, Jose Abreu reveals a Nick Madrigal. Nice. 82 out of 99 for the White Sox. Part of the Angels number block group. White Sox 2 is going to be for Joel. Nice. Yeah, Joe Adele is a notorious non-signer. Could be him. Let's see who it is. It's, yep, it's Joe Adele for the Angels. So that's a redemption for the Angels. Angels, zero. Zero gets any and all redemptions. That's, uh, that's another one for Jonathan. All right, two boxes to go. And the next tribute is tribute pick your team number three. There's only five teams left. We don't have to do a number block for it, I don't think. Orioles, White Sox, Tigers, Dodgers, and Phillies. All kind of higher end teams. But this is sort of a higher end set. So if you wanna get this knocked out straight up, grab your teams now because this is a great candidate for, uh, this is a great candidate for, for number blocks. Who's paying for that break credit, Rex? You? Max Kepler, 27 out of 99. Kettle Marte, Bryce Harper. Twins, Adam Richards gets the Max Kepler, taking it to the max. Behind Altuve is a stamp of approval, Max Muncy. Nice, 62 out of 150. Dodgers 2 will be for Joel.
And once again, MLB.com slash authentication, JC769095. We'll tell you what date that jersey came from, and then you can look up, maybe go to baseballreference.com and look up the Max Muncy game log and see if he did anything special that day. We got JT Real Muto, 79 out of 199. Phillies are part of that Angels number block group. Phillies 9 is Kevin Holt. There's Whit Merrifield. Behind Whit Merrifield is the rookie card. Yeah, Sixto Sanchez. And we got Keston Hira, 62 out of 150. And that'll be Brewers 2. It's another one for Mark L. Yeah, I guess 2 has been crushing it on that side. Sixto Sanchez. Why is that? Hey, that's what we do. That is what we do. That's what we try to do. Patrick Corbin, 196 out of 199. Washington Nationals, Mark L. Picked up the Nationals straight up. Are the Lakers actually leading this game? They're leading the, the Heat by a point. Surprising. Behind Jacob deGrom is a Joe Maurer. 64 out of 99 Twins. Adam Richards picked up the Twins straight up. And there's Hugh Darvish. Behind Hugh Darvish is Triple Relic, Barry Larkin, 85 out of 150. Reds, 5 is going to be for Monty. All right, and the final box, ladies and gentlemen. I read that as, wise, I read that as, Joe, are you a Big Mac fan? And I was like, no, not really. But he's asking, are you a Big Mac Jones fan? Um, I mean, I can't, I, I don't watch enough college football to really make a determination. I mean, he, he looked good in like the few games that I saw of him on national TV. There's Shane Bieber to 99. He looks pretty gritty. Does it does that does his style work in in the NFL? Trevor Lawrence seems obviously is more of a prototypical tall big quarterback. Maybe he does better in the NFL, but that's why he's probably going to go number 1. There's Joey Bart rookie auto to 50. Hey, listen, I hope he does well. I hope he gets drafted to a big team and just crushes it. There's Joey Bart, Giants. Giants part of the number block group. Giants four. Is going to be David Rodriguez, Giants four. Nice. Maybe future Buster Posey there. Joey Bart. We've got a triple relic. That's nice right there. Nine out of ten, Fernando Tatis Jr. Chris Parent picked up the 
picked up the uh, Padres straight up. Logan saying that that Max Muncy jersey was was June twenty seventh. The Rockies win versus the Rockies a win back in twenty nineteen. What was his box score? And there's Jose Altuve, 008 out of 150, stamp of approval. Relic, MLB.com slash authentication, JC751986. Drew, that's exactly what we do with those base cards, with the veteran commons. We actually sell them and then we put the money towards. We've got a section at our shop here where we put them in like 500 count boxes, I think. 100 count boxes. And we sell them. And then we donate the money to charity. I think it's, uh, I think we're donating this month is a a uh, breast cancer group. I think Nate Pearson, forty eight out of one ninety nine. Blue Jays are a probably a number block team. Yes, Blue Jays are part of the St. Louis group. Blue Jays eight is going to be there. You go, Matthew Stubblefield on the board. Behind Nolan Ryan is a Vlad Guerrero Sr. 35 out of 99 for the Angels. Angels 5 is Kevin Hull. And last but not least, behind Rangers edition of Pudge is Adrian Beltre. Nice. And that old school design, 44 out of 50. Is this a one per case situation? This is nice. Rangers four. No, Rangers picked up straight up. Patrick Davis. There you go, Patrick. Nice. Adrian Beltre, Hall of Famer. First ballot Hall of Famer, right? He's got 3,000 hits, 1,700 RBIs, 636 doubles. Gold glove third base. Yeah, he's pretty good. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's do a couple quick randomizers here for those non-numbered cards. So let's go back to the list right here. So for the St. Louis group, and we're going to randomize both lists five times, one and a four. So there's the St. Louis group. Five times, one, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, it's Rick Thomas. There you go. Rick T, for um, this group of teams right here, you'll get all the uh, non-numbered cards. All right, same deal with the Angels group. Jonathan down to Kevin. Five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. And it'll be Monty. There you go, Monty. After five times, you'll get all the non-numbered base cards for this group of teams right here. Could be a decent stack. And there you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.